Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glorium Sea series, the Minrise Beach series, and the new Heartbreaker series. So I'm going to be memory planning the week of October 2nd to the 8th and this week was a very special week for me because I released my new book. It is called All I Want and it is the third book in the Heartbreaker series. So as you guys can expect, I had quite a lot going on. It was a very very fun week for me. Quite stressful in the beginning, but once my book was out, I found that I finally had some time to relax, so that was also really nice. So I do want to remember that in my memory planner, and the kit that I'm using to do that with is the Hello Fall collection. So I have the full vertical weekly kit here, and as you guys can see, I have added these rose gold overlays from Rose Colored Days on them. So um, these are a couple of different sets, and then this one actually, the one that says Be Present there, is actually from Simply Beautiful Plans. Um, but I just thought that the rose gold would look really nice with the colors of this kit. It's one of my favorite fall kits that we have currently in the shop. I just love all the colors and the florals as well. So I have added the date numbers here so you can purchase that with your kit if you want. That's what that looks like. So I've just added that there. So you get the bottom washi and the extra box on this page as well as the date covers. And then here's a good look at all the colors of the kit. They are beautiful. I can't wait to um, start planning. I just think the colors are gorgeous. And this is the functional page. So you have three sets of headers, your sidebar elements, and checklists, and page flags. If you order the full kit, you'll get the solid box page as well as the full box checklist. Along with that, I'm going to be using the deco sheet that matches it. And what I've done is I've already cut the florals in half just so that I can do a little bit of layering for them. And because this is the first full week of October, I have pulled the small monthly scripts here and I'm gonna be using those to label the week. So for this one, you get October, November, and December together. And in terms of the headers, I'm gonna be using the ones in the kit, but I also thought that I would pull in the Simply Gilded perforated one with the rose gold just to kind of switch it up a little bit. So this is how last week turned out. I used the Paris Je Temps kit and I love it. These tones are really, really unique. So I thought that it was a really fun kit to plan with. I like all the colors. It came out really beautiful. So uh, again, I used the rose gold for that and um, I do have a plan with me video up on my channel if you guys are interested. And I'm still using these inserts. These are printable inserts from my shop. So I'm gonna pull these out and let's get started with planning. So with my book release, I did have quite a few things to do this week, including uh, the promotion for it once it was released. So it was a pretty busy week, but I'm so glad that everything went so smoothly with this release. Sometimes um, you'll get a few glitches that kind of happen throughout the publishing process. And despite the fact that I have 16 other books released already, um, that is kind of inevitable. Even though you have like a really good team of editors and a formatter and beta readers and all that kind of stuff, um, sometimes glitches still occur. But thankfully, nothing like that happened for this release. This was probably one of my most smoothest releases that I've had. So um, I was really, really pleased with that. So um, if you guys are interested in All I Want, it is now available and you can purchase it in ebook format or paperback um, on Amazon. And it's also free on Kindle Unlimited. So go ahead and check it out if you guys are interested. Don't forget to leave a review because um, I would love to know what you guys think of it. It is a... Christmas theme book. It's actually my first and only Christmas theme book, which is very exciting for me. I've always wanted to do a Christmas theme book, so um, I finally got to do it with this one, and I think it came out perfect, so I'm so happy with it. If you are completely new to my books, um, my Heartbreaker series is a spinoff of the Moonrise Beach series, so if you guys want to, you can actually read the Moonrise Beach series first and then you can read the Heartbreaker series but you don't have to it's just that some of the characters do play a part in both series 
So that is the reason why I recommend that. It's always fun to read series in order just so you guys can get the full picture. Um, I do write the books in order so it just helps that way. So I'm adding these beautiful line and bow headers just to the top of my full boxes but like I said I will be using the other headers on the other days. Now I'm thinking that I might actually change this box because I actually have a box here with the book and because I released my book on Tuesday I feel like that is more appropriate so I'm gonna add that and what was fun is that October 3rd was also Drive Me Wild's release so I actually now have two books released on the same day so that is kind of cool I've never had that before so they're gonna be now sharing the same release day so I'm just adding my boxes and I honestly love every single one of these boxes. They are so pretty. I love the florals. I was saving these florals for the perfect kit and I had actually planned on using it with a different one instead. But when I saw these colors together, I thought that it worked perfectly. So I decided to put the florals with this art instead and I think it came out just gorgeous. So um, I have a quote box. This is actually the first time that I've ever done a quote box. Um, I think maybe there's like one other one that I did um, for the Bloom collection. So this was kind of fun for me and based on the feedback that you guys gave me, it seems that you guys like to have the quote boxes. So I may do more of those in future kits now um, so I'm going to add that quote box and we'll put it up here instead. So let me see, which of the headers do I want to use? There's a lot of different options. I like this color, but I also like the green. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll go with the purple. Kind of like a mauve purple, I guess. Because I like it against the green. And then I think I'm going to alternate with all of the florals as well because I can't get enough of the florals. So this way we get a little bit of all the colors and I can actually save the green for a different spread maybe. All right, so I'm gonna add one at the bottom here and we'll put in that quote box that I'm just in love with. I love the font, the deco is amazing as well. And because I did not read this week because it was just so busy with my new release, I'm actually just going to use the extra box that comes with the kit. So before that, I'm just going to add my checklist here. So I'm very curious to know if you guys journal in addition to memory planning. Because I know a lot of people memory plan as a way to remember what happened each week. And I've been memory planning since the very beginning. So I'm very, very familiar with this style of planning. It's one of my favorites, as you guys know. But I have also been journaling quite a bit. So that has been really fun for me just to do on kind of like a daily basis, whereas this I save for the weekend. After the week is done, then I will come in here and memory plan. But having the day-to-day -day journaling has been really fun as well. So I've been liking that a lot. So I'm curious to know if you guys do journal, what journal do you use? Do you use a notebook? Do you use a TN? I'm very curious to know. So I've just added that frame there and the little pumpkin. I'm gonna be using the October script. Again, this is from my shop and you can actually purchase this in white matte or transparent. So I'm just adding that up there. And then in this box, I have added the book deco because I'm going to write that we had the book release because I've been kind of counting down the release all month so I finally have the book out now so that is great 
And then I'm gonna fill in my sidebar here with all my tasks. So let me do that and we can go into the day by day. So what do you guys think so far about this kit? I'm loving it so much. So first off, I'm just going to write here that my book did need to be formatted first. So I'm just writing that there. And then also that we had the release day this week. I also had an event and um, I did need to update my website for my books. I have to do that for every single release. And then I also needed to send out a newsletter. So I have all that written down there now. So that's everything for the sidebar. I'm loving the colors so far. So I am going to first off go in with a scallop box on Monday because I need to mark in that this was the day that my book was at the formatter. So that's my last deadline. So I'm gonna use this deadline sticker here that is from Paper Crown Planner and I'm just gonna write that in here. My team did such an amazing job this release. I couldn't have asked for more. So I'm so happy with how everything turned out. So I'm just gonna add a couple of boxes here and I'm going to also add a little bit of the florals here. So I'm going to first go in with writing reviews. So I did that while the book was at the formatter. So I have this sticker here that is from Hello Petite Paper, because I had quite a few to write and submit to my editor. And then I'm also going to write in family time. I wanna scooch this down first so that we have a little bit more room for the floral. I love these florals. You can always cut down your florals to make them kind of like headers like this. I think that looks really cute. So for family time, I have one of my custom Halloween stickers. This is from Teddy's Plants Co. Um, this, this is actually my first time using it. I'm so excited about it because I had her do my whole entire family there. And in this case, it's the Halloween one. I did the pastel Halloween, but you can also choose the um, like traditional colors. So I'm so excited to finally get a chance to use that. Family time script is from my shop. I'm also going to mark down designing. So I have one of the Coffee Girl stickers there for designing from Teddy's Plans Co. once again. I'm also going to be marking in the game that we've been playing quite a lot of. So let me see what box can I use for that. I use green again. I'm loving this army green. All right, so for that, I have one of the gamer bow icons from my shop. And then I'm also going to be marking in with a bow icon. This is the French press one that we had the new release go live in the shop. And for this week, I did release the spooky collection and you guys really, really seem to love it. I got so many orders for all of the kits, particularly the journaling kit. So I'm really happy that a lot of you guys loved it. I'm just gonna add this deco piece there. All right, so that is everything for Monday. I feel like it got really dark suddenly. Let me see if I can turn up the light. So let's just keep going. So I'm going to first mark in on Tuesday that we had Drive Me Wild's Anniversary. So that's one of my books in my Moonrise Beach series. So I have this little bow icon that is from Winterfield Studio. And I'm just going to maybe layer with this Drive Me Wild script that is from my shop. I think I'm gonna put it this way instead. I like the bow on that side. Um, and then this is the day that I release my new book as well. So let's use a scallop box to mark in my new book coming out. So I have this sticker here. This is from Paper Echoes, just to mark in how happy I was. And I have a release day script there too. 
So I'm just going to mark it in like that. And then let's see. I wonder if I can add one of these squiggles here. So this is from a sheet from Simply Beautiful Plans. I just want to add that here because it's my release. So I want to make it stand out and I have these little cute hearts as well. So I'll just add that there. So that's it for my release day. I did still have to do orders. So let me see, I can use a box to mark in packing orders and then going to the post office. So for packing orders, I have this cute little envelope with the hearts coming out. That is from Winterfield Studios again. And then for post office, I have one of the doodle icons of the Happy Mail and the post office script is from my shop. This day I did also bake brownies. Um, I made gluten-free brownies, so that was really fun. They turned out so delicious. So I'm gonna also mark that in here. And I have this paper K character for that. And then lastly, I do also still want to mark in that we had my Filofax ochre flip through go up. So I've been using that planner as my health and finance planner. So I do want to mark that down here and I'm using this little cloud planner sticker from my shop. So there we go, that is everything for Tuesday. Now let's move on to Wednesday here. So Wednesday I did not have an event, but I did begin the day by reading. So let me mark that in. Um, I did also have to give my dog a bath. So for bath time, let's use another pink box. So I have here this little cozy character from Ohana Story. So that is perfect to mark in my reading time. And then for bath time, I'm gonna use this cute dog in the bath sticker from Stationary Heaven. Um, and then after that, I did have to update my author website. So let's see, let me use this one. Should I add a bit of the florals in first? Yeah, let's do that. So I think it would look cute here just to break it up a bit. So for um, updating my website, I'm gonna use this cozy looking emoji character. That's one of my new stickers. Oh, these florals are so gorgeous. I love them so much. Um, and then after that, I did also cook. So for cooking, let's do this kind of peach tone here. And I have one of my favorite cooking stickers from Teddy's Plants Co. I love her. I'm also going to mark here at the bottom that we had my October kit lineup go up. So I'm gonna mark that in with a box. And I'm just going to use this little sticker here of the sticker sheets from White Deer. So there we have it. That is everything for Wednesday. I'm just gonna add this little floral underneath that sticker there, just to give it some color. So that is everything for the first half of the week. Now let's move on to Thursday here. So on Thursday, I did have a work event. So I'm gonna use the green color. And because it was a Halloween themed event, I'm going to be using this sticker from Papershire of the little Jack Lanterns. And then I was still packing up orders. So let's use another box for that. So for packing up orders, I'm actually gonna use this autumn themed girl from Paper Bits Co because it started to feel like autumn for the first time this week. Um, and then let's mark in some printing and cutting. So for printing and cutting, I do have this printer sticker. This is from White Deer. And then I did also have to go to the post office once again. So let's use a scallop box for that. So for the post office run, I'm gonna use this adorable sticker. I love the scallops on that envelope. That is from 
White Deer and the post office script is from my shop. Um, my beta reader also returned my book. So I just wanted to mark that down. So I'm gonna use the little coffee cup that is from my shop. So there we go. And then also I did post my Oristel passport haul. It was like an unboxing and so many of you guys loved it. So um, I'm really pleased that you guys loved it. I am gonna be using this sticker here just to mark it in and I will probably do a little bit of layering just to make it kind of stand out a bit. So I am going to be journaling and planning in the Oristel Passport. So go ahead and check that out because I know a lot of you guys are also going to be using that size. So it'll be fun to kind of see each other's setups for inspiration. So that's everything for Thursday. Friday was a little bit of a chill day. So I'm going to start off with a box to mark in that I had to print and cut. I didn't finish my cutting from the day before. So I was still working on that. So I have this fan sticky silhouette sticker. I'll put that in the corner there. I think that is so cute. And then also I did need to film. Let's use a swatch to add a little bit of color. So for filming, I have one of the little camera stickers from my shop and I'm gonna add a floral behind it there and layer a bit. So I do have a foam script. So that's also from my shop. So I'm gonna go in with another box just to mark in editing. So I have another one of those Coffee Girl stickers and I'll just write that in. I also had an Amazon delivery this day. So for that little Happy Mail, I'm gonna use a scallop box here at the bottom. We'll use this girl from Paper Bits Co. I love her little space buns and the Happy Mail script from my shop. And then at the bottom here, I'm also going to mark in that we had new releases. I released some new journaling prompts in my shop. So I really wanted to mark that. So let's add some of the florals once again to make it all pretty. So for the journaling prompts, I'm gonna use this sticker here that is from Paper K. I love that little flat lay. It's so cute. So I'm just gonna write new release. Let me know if you guys still want me to do more of these. Um, I think they're really fun to make. So just let me know if you have any more themes in mind. So now that that is done, let's move on to Saturday. So Saturday was a little more chill. That's why I put the blanket there. So I'm gonna mark in that I filmed. So let's use the film script and also this little icon from Van Sticky. I did journal quite a bit this day. I've been really enjoying my Passport TN journal. So I'm going to mark that in here. So for journaling, I'm going to use one of the journal stickers from my shop. Just adding some of the florals once again. Um, and then I did have to do some laundry. So for laundry, I'm just gonna use a large box here. And this little washing machine sticker is from Winterfield Studio. I did start playing a new game. So I'm just going to mark that here as well. So I'm gonna grab my other gaming stickers. Let's use this color here at the bottom. So there we go. And then the last thing that I want to make sure that I mention in here is that we did also have um, my passport flip through go up on my channel. So I'm going to use this sticker here just to mark that down. Like I said, it seems like a lot of you guys are 
really loving the passport size so i'm so excited about it so there we have it that's everything for saturday i'm going to move on to sunday now so on sunday i did edit my video it's actually this video that you're watching now so i have this little laptop bow icon from winterfield studios and then i also had to work on my next book which will be coming out next year actually so um, I'm just going through the edits for it so I have this books and coffee sticker from White Deer to mark that in so I also want to mark in some design time so I'm actually going to mark that in like this with a Teddy's Plans co-character and then I want to add the florals beneath her and I'm going to pop in another box and I'm going to mark in here that I did have to cook once again so I'll use this sticker here and we have just enough space here at the very bottom to mark in that my plan with me went live so for that I'm going to use the little journal or book here from the deco sheet and the plan with me live script so there we have it that is everything for this week I'm gonna pop this back into my platter now and we can see the finished spread so this is what my spread looks like back in my planner I think it turned out even better than I could hope for I love the colors I love the rose gold I think it's so so pretty definitely feel like I would love looking back on this spread so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys are interested in the hello fall collection that I used here you guys can use the code save 10 to save 10% off and that code is applicable to the printables as well so go ahead and check them out Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out All I Want on Amazon. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.